Hey there everyone, it's Val, and welcome back to today's end of the day tour for Token Craft 2, The Labors of Valentine. I had a surprise waiting for me when I logged on today. You know that horrible event that happened? Me accidentally destroying my wand? Well, Greater Raider has come to the rescue. He was sad to see such a young wand die so early, and it hopes this eases my grieving, and it does. It does indeed, because this, well, it's basically the wand version 2. He made the same equal trade uh, focus on it. In fact, he may have, may have just copied his wand in creative. I don't know. However he did it, I am very grateful because that was, as I said last at the end of last stream, I don't know how to make the Ikorium wand because he gave it to me in the first place as a present. I d do know how to make the focus, but the fact that I don't have to is well, that saves me time, so thank you, Greater Raider. You are a lifesaver. Woohoo! <laughs> Alrighty, we'll leave that sign there for a while. Alright, so what I was working on today was finishing up uh, connecting up the storage system the main storage system to the AE. And, in fact, I say the main storage system because, um, you may recall, I have two storage areas. The large one, which I do my barrel dance in, <laughs> and the smaller one, which is for mobs. So, this is the one for, of course, uh, my main storage area for my mining operation. And it's all hooked up down here. So now we can access it through the AE system. The barrels and their uh, uh, associated storage buses are left at the default priority of zero. And what I did last time, uh, last stream, was I set the priority for my drives to minus 10. And by doing that, that means that everything gets stored in the barrels or the caches over here by preference. And only if these happen to be full does it then spill over into my AE system. And that is the way that I, I prefer it. Because I like to control how much is going in what place. And actually, let me just make a comment about the system up here. That doesn't mean that I'm not using this anymore. I am in fact still using this. Uh, this is where when this it's set up right now my inner quarry is not uh, set up right now but when it is this is where the ore is coming in and sent through the item ducts and distributed into the uh, system here. Uh, in fact I finished off connecting up this last line as well today which um, hadn't been connected before. Anyway point that I wanted to make I seem to be having a bit of a lag spike there. Uh, the point that I wanted to make was that I still use this and the reason is there will be things like that uh, marble for example where I only want 64 stacks of that and by still having the main input from my quarry coming in here when that gets full I can then send the overflow to the trash like I do right here and not have it clogging up my AE system. So that lets me filter what I'm going to put into the AE system and what I have plenty of and just want to send to the trash. And because the thing that always worries me is that I don't want my AE system to fill up with stuff that I don't actually want to collect. And while I do like to collect at least some of everything, there's a lot of things at some point where I say, okay, I do in fact have enough of these things. I don't need any more. And usually the ores, I try to collect all the ores. The ones that I tend to send to the trash once I have enough are things like, uh, well, I accidentally have two things of basalt. But anyway, point is when these get full, usually one, a hardened cache full of any particular material, building material type material to me is more than sufficient for my needs in any uh, actually it's, it is more than sufficient I probably could get away with a basic cache full but I like hardened caches because well 
I am still a pack rat at heart, and while I try to restrain myself by throwing away some things, I still like to have a lot. <laughs> a lot at hand. Even if I'm never going to need it, it just makes me happy to know it's there. Right. So, I will admit, I do like the pattern that these make when, when they're all hooked up, because you can see, you know, just by looking at the smart... That's why I always make the smart cables, so I can just look at them and see them connected up like this. It's just the lights. It just makes me happy. Um... It's one of those things, actually, I was talking about it in the stream today. There are certain things that some people find tedious after doing it the first time. Once they've learned it, having to do it again is very annoying. And I can understand that because there are certain things that once I've done them once, I don't want to do them again because I've experienced them. And it was fun the first time, but oops, sorry, but it doesn't push all the right vowel buttons. Um, so I don't want to keep redoing them over and over. So things like Thongcraft research. Yeah, after the first, the first time was fun. The second time, well, it was starting to get tedious. Third time, really tedious. And after that, it was like, oh God. And that's nothing, I'm not saying anything against the mod author. It's just that that particular type of activity for me has a saturation level. After which point, I really don't want to do it anymore. For some people, setting up the AE system is that kind of activity for them. Maybe the first time was interesting, second time not so much, and after that it, they reach their saturation level and no longer find it interesting. Uh, there is apparently an option in the config file so that you can turn this off. And that's why I went through this spiel, because I wanted to tell you that you can, could, in fact, if you don't enjoy this, turn it off in the config file. Me? I happen to enjoy it. I'm a computer geek at heart, and just seeing all these pretty lights and things hooked up, it just it just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. So, Thumbcraft doesn't make me feel warm and fuzzy anymore with the research, but this still does. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so speaking of more warm and fuzziness, um, we are hooking up the mob system over here and so I've already selected the colors that I want and in fact I was just going to bring them out so they were level so I picked four different colors I didn't have to I could have used these colors again but I, I have 16 colors to choose from how could I not choose four new colors and we got we just have a an access hatch here and if you're wondering why the wall is different here and why I haven't changed it that would be because it goes into this room here. And while I could cover this up potentially with covers... No, I couldn't because these are right against the wall. But anyway, I figured this is the underpinnings. You don't expect it to be perfect. It looks a lot better than my most of my underpinnings because I've actually done all the tunnels and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, that's right. I was going to do a carpenter's hatch for here. or try to. Um, we might actually have to have a block on one section. Anyway, this will have a carpenter's hatch here at some point. Uh, but the wires are going to come through here. And they're going to come... I'm just thinking, because I'm bringing them along this wall, so they'll come around here. And then once they reach here, they'll we'll take them that way and bring them down the wall, and they'll come down to here. And that's why I had these dirt layers here, is these will actually come out... I will be placing the AE cables here, and we will have storage, at least, uh, I think I can put storage, what the heck are they called, storage what's my brain, the word, that the brain cell that held that word just died, it was very sad, storage buffer, no, yeah, okay, it is storage, bu storage bus, storage bus, sorry, ME storage bus, I can't remember if I can put them on either side of an AE cable or not. If I can't, then I'm going to have to swap it around. I'll put the um, storage buses on the back here and put the item ducts in between. Because those I know will work. So anyway, I might have to do some, re some reworking of the system if storage buses can't go on either side of the cable. I just can't remember if they can or not. Hopefully, but we'll see. Anyway, that's what I've been working on today, is AE, again. <laughs> I 
So guys, uh, yes, we go here. That is not what I meant to press. No, I said no. Thank you. So thank you guys very much for watching this end of the day tour. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed me blathering on about my warm and fuzziness with AE cables. <laughs> in any case, I hope to see you in the stream sometime. You all take care now. Bye.